how to set goals and achieve them become a goal achiever guys that's right a lot of people know how to set goals but very few of us know how to achieve them right so all right in this training you'll be learning about how to set goals and achieve them my name is keith peterson and i will be your instructor <laughs> all right so goals committed versus in interested okay now um I need to be honest, right? A lot of the information I'm getting, I, I got, I re I'm referencing it from John Osaroff, right? He's a brilliant trainer in personal development space. And, uh, so if you guys want to learn more, you can check him out, right? All right. I just want to give credit where credit is to you. Okay. How to set goals and achieve them, right? Committed versus interested. All right. Now, the question you ask yourself, are you interested in setting goals? Or, you, or let me rephrase it. Are you thinking about achieving your goals or are you committed to achieving your goals now you might ask yourself okay what's the difference right here's a difference if you are interested you'll do what is convenient you'll do what everybody else is doing right you'll do what is easy like i said what everybody else is doing right but if you are committed your mindset is slightly different right your mindset is different if you are committed all right so if you are committed you learn what you need to learn. You will do the drills you need to do. You will acquire the information that needs to be acquired. You will do what you need to do. You'll get up early in the morning if you have to. You'll study extra classes. You'll take courses. You'll do whatever is necessary, right, to get the job done, right? You'll give up the blame game. You won't blame anybody. You won't blame yourself. You won't blame your circumstances, right? Uh, you'll have no excuses. You'll, you'll have zero excuses, right? Uh, you put your... You put your attention and focus on how you will, must, and can achieve your goals. That's what you do, right? If you are interested in, if you're committed to achieving your goals. So there's a big difference. It's all about mindset, right? So the mindset of somebody who's committed versus somebody who's interested is very different. Interested person is, interested person will do what is convenient, right? And easy, right? A committed person will do whatever it takes to get the job done, to achieve their goals, right? Okay, so you are going to learn how to turn your goals into a probability rather than a possibility, right? That's what I'm trying to do here. I want to show you how to turn your goals into a probability rather into a possibility, right? Okay, so how do you set goals, right? The, the first step is to being, is being clear about what you want. Be exactly clear. Like a lot of people ask them, okay, what do you want? I want to be successful. That's not a goal. I want to make a lot of money. That's not a goal, right? You have to be a clearly, as, as Napoleon Hill says, you have to have a clear and definite purpose. All right? You have to start with absolute precision about what you want. You have to be very clear about what you want, okay? And how will you know when you have achieved your goal? So, again, I'm going to also re reference uh, Napoleon Hill, Think and Grow Rich. He says, you need to have a clearly defined goal. For example, I want to make, so today is, I'm not sure what the date is. It Let's say June 14th, right? So, it's June 14th, 2021. So, the next three months, which will be June, July, August, so August 21, I want to have $10,000 in my bank account. So it's a clearly defined goal. You want $10,000 when do you want it in the next 90 days, right? So that's clearly defined. You got it. All right. So the next thing is the benefits of being clear about your goal. And there are benefits of being clear about your goal, right? It gives your brain instruction on what you should focus on. So if you're clear about what goal you want, it gives your brain instructions. To, okay, look here. So now your brain needs to know what to look out for, right? That's the whole law of attraction or the law of the mind, whatever, right? The point is, the Bible says, as a man thinks in his heart, so he is, right? So whatever you focus on, it's a law, right? By beholding you are changed. Whatever you focus on, your mind fixes on that and helps you achieve it, right? So the benefits of being clear about your goals. People who know what they want will achieve their goals at a significantly higher percentage than people who are not clear about their goals, right? So people who know what they want, what are high, they are they higher goal achievers, right? They achieve more goals than people who don't know what they want. It just makes sense, right? All right. How much money do you want? So again, again, how much money do you want to achieve in the next 90 days, for example? Be clear about, like I said, again, if you want $10,000 in the next 90 days, when do you want it? I want it by August 27th and today is June 27th, right? So that's an example. All right. Now, obstacles to goal achievement. People allow their past, present circumstances to dictate what they can do today or the future, right? So what we do is we look at where we are in the world right now, or the status quo, right? Okay, this is where I am, and uh, 
I have X, Y, and Z. I have this amount of money. This is the situation that I'm in, right? So obviously the future is going to be the same, right? Or the past, uh, you know, I've only done this little. And you allow that to determine how much you will achieve in the future. Do not let your past or present circumstances control your goal setting, right? Basically. So, I mean, if you look at high achievers, they don't do that, right? They don't do guys like Bill Gates, Steve Jobs, uh, Steve Harvey, these guys, right? They... They, they knew what they wanted and they went after it in spite of their circumstances, right? All right. So, uh, when you focus on the past and present circumstances, you are neurologically creating more of the same. Okay. Now, what does that mean? Neur- neurologic creating more of the same. So if you look at your situation, right? You will put the same amount of effort that you've done in the past to achieve, uh, results. Do you get what I'm saying? So if you believe, okay, this is all I can do. You telling your brain, oh, this is all you can do, and that's the same results you're going to produce. I think that makes sense, right? So, set a goal you've never achieved before. And this can be scary, guys. Trust me, it can be scary. I know what I'm talking about, all right? So, uh, like, let's say you used to earning $2,000 a month, and now somebody tells you, oh, man, you can earn $100,000 a month. Like, Whoa, how do I achieve $100,000 a month? You've never done it before, right, for example. So, it can be scary, but now, according to John Asaroff, this is a good thing. Right? Doubts, fears, anxiety, this is all good. These are all good, right? It will cause you to have some fear because you are out of your comfort zone. So it gets you out of your comfort zone. So you need to stretch yourself, right? You need to stretch yourself. You need to do things you've never done before. You need to change your rituals. Like uh, Tony Robbins says, raising your standard. You need to raise your standard to achieve the goals that you want to achieve, right? That's why it's good to have doubts, fears, and anxiety because it causes you to come out of your comfort zone. This is good, not bad, right? Like I said before, this is good and not bad. Okay, have a definite goal. I said it before. You must know exactly when you plan to have your, your goal achieved. Another person refers to it. When is your freedom day? You must be clear. Okay, on this date. Now, again, coming back to the example, you want $10,000 in the next 90 days. Today is uh, August 14th. I mean, June 14th. So by August 14th, you want $10,000 in your bank account, right? So be clear about your goal. Your goal should not be vague. Again, like, uh, I want a lot of money. That's not a goal. All right. That's an idea. Do you get what I'm saying, right? So, um, write down your goals. You need to write down your goals. Okay. Why? Because it helps your brain to remember it. It creates a neurologic, a neuro, neurological map in your brain, right? And the more you think about it, the more you see, it, the more, uh, you, it becomes real in your brain. Like biologically, something's happening in your brain the more you see your goals, right? The more you read it and the more you visualize it, all right? Neural pathways are being created in your brain. Okay, you need a system. So that you need to have a system to achieving your goals. You mustn't think, I wonder how am I going to do this, right? You need to have a system. So once you have your goal, your clearly defined goal, and when you want to achieve it, then you need a strategy. That's what you should do, okay? What you should do, for, for example... Now, there are different ways of making $10,000, right? So, let's say you want to go into uh, your coaching. Okay, tell yourself, fine, I'm a, li- I'm a life coach. I charge my clients $100 per hour. All right. So, in one week, I want to make about $1,000, right? So, no, no, no. Let's say two, four, six. Let's say I want to make $2,500 a week. All right. So, you need to calculate how many clients you must get in a week, right, to make $2,500. And times that by four, that's ten thousand dollars, right? So, two thousand five hundred dollars times four is ten thousand. You need to have a strategy, okay? So, okay, fine. You do life coaching, all right? So that's a strategy. So, strategy is how you're gonna do it. I'm gonna do life coaching, okay? So, how am I gonna get these these clients? So, I'll go into social media. I'll go into Facebook, for example, right? And let's say that my niche is uh, I'm targeting accountants, all right? That's my niche. So, you maybe join different Facebook groups. You post in those groups. Uh, you'll try and attract them with the post. Whoever likes your post, for example, you add them to your group. You send them a message. Say, hey, thank you for liking my message. You know, da, 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 I'm a life coach. Would you be interested in doing my service? So you do that on a consistent basis every day, right? So the tactic is maybe you send them a message and you offer them a free 30-minute consultation. Okay? Send them a message, offer them a free 30-day consultation. That's the tactic. The process is how I do this every day. I do this Monday to Friday from 8 a.m. to maybe... 12 p.m., right? 
So you got, I'll repeat that. So let's say you're a life coach, you're targeting accountants, you join all the accounting groups on Facebook that you can, you post in those groups, everybody who likes your post, you then add them to your friends list, then you send them a message, say, hey, my name is Keith, I'm a life coach, uh, you open to, do you maybe I want to, th- I offer a 30 minute free consultation with zero commitment, okay? So that's a tactic, right? You offer them a free consultation, right? And you do it every day, the process, uh, Monday to Friday from 8 a.m. to 12 p.m., okay? That's, that's a system. That's what you're going to follow. All right. Action steps. So now you need to be, be clear about what you want. Set a, a date, right? So the amount that you want and you set your date, right? Uh, I want $10,000 and I want it by August 20, August 14. Today is June 14th. Okay. Look at, look and read it at least twice a day. Look and read your goal that you, at least twice a day. Okay. Develop a strategy tactic process and then take action. Okay. I, I said what well, is a strategy tactic. Action, take, uh, take, uh, sorry, a strategy, right? So it's, you must have a strategy, what you must do, a tactic, how you should do it, a process, uh, the something that you follow from Monday to Friday, right? At a certain time, maybe 8 a.m. to 12 p.m. All right, guys, that's basically it. A very short training on how you can set goals and achieve them. All right. Have a great day. Oh, by the way, guys, look here. Please click the link below if you want to, uh, if you're interested and you want to learn more about how you can achieve goals, click the link below. And yeah, just click the link below if you want to learn more. There's some free training. It's a free video about what you can do then to achieve, um, to, how do I put this? To become a goal achiever. It will help you do that. So check out that, tra- that, that, that video right now. Just click the link below and will help you to, uh, to achieve to become a goal achiever, right? It's it's an added training. If I we all take advantage, guys. If I knew what I know now, knew if, if I knew what I know now ten years ago, right? Oh man, I would have watched more of these. I just would have watched so many more videos. Okay, <laughs> so click the link below for more for for further training on how to achieve goals if you're interested and you have the time. Okay, guys, just click that link below. Otherwise, have a great day, and I'll s- please look out for me for future videos. Have a great day.